Yeah, so this is uh, Recreator out of LA. They're an LA based seed to stitch. Um, you know, looking to get a, become the vertically integrated hemp uh, clothing company. Yeah, I'm coming in here. In the U.S. Seed to sit, seed to stitch, seed to shelf. You know, um, but right now importing from China. So this is Chinese hemp that we're holding here, but um, cut and sewn within the U.S. So one Why day. Why is it an American? Well, that's a that's a big uh, big conversation. Like, yes. we, we need to get seeds in the ground everywhere this year, next year, forever. Yeah, and there's products that you know, quickly um, into production, like paper. Like right away. Hemp is journal uh, publications are on and paper. Food and paper. These things are ready right now to create jobs and opportunities. Why aren't we passing full federal legalization? We want to know, so we're going to show up here with the with the hemp bus to take it across the country to help inform people about what hemp is, how it can create jobs and create opportunities for people. Amen. Let the association speak. So I'm Nishama from the National Hemp Association, and one of our main goals in 2016 is to pass the Industrial Hemp Farming Act which will remove hemp from the Controlled Substances Act okay, let me go get and will make the crop federally legal so that farmers across the U.S. can grow hemp, they can have hemp seeds shared across state lines, we can bring in hemp seeds from other countries that want to help us, and bring back jobs. It could be the most important jobs bill that Congress is going to have on their plate this year. So let's support the Industrial Hemp Farming Act. Thanks. After work, parking this next to the metro stop, staffers just walk right past it all the time because they're all going to the metro. Okay. And so that would probably get it the most visibility. Which, is there just one capital metro? Yes, it's called Capital South. I would do the Capital South. It's right across the street from the uh, Republican Capitol Hill Club. Okay. It's like a private club where, where, so that's probably the most high traffic area. So the DA Museum is, right, is in Arlington okay. and it's on land that used to be a hemp farm. Uh, by the USDA. Okay. It's a former USDA hemp farm. We have proof that it used to be a uh, hemp farm. Uh, Leister Dewey was the hemp researcher and now it's the DEA museum. So it's incredibly ironic and you know could could, could be a nice story you know to to bring the buzz around is that in DC people aren't as interested in hemp as in other like for for a Capitol Hill staffer they, like, if we were like, oh, come check out the bus, like, like I was trying to get Senate staffers to our briefing, and they're like, oh, we have to walk across the Capitol, you know, which is like, you know, a 10 minute walk, and, but it's like, but for them, they're like, even though we have an entire expo with a keynote, they're not even gonna come. And it's like, right there. They just don't wanna walk. Exactly, just because they're super busy, they're doing, the, thank you. Hey, good luck with this amazing trip. So you're going to Iowa. You're yeah, straight, you're Iowa straight right driving straight to Iowa. Yep. Yep. Oh my goodness. Good luck. This is like Thanks. insane by the way. This whole election